Okay, so it is time to get some lettuce planted up today. And I have four different kinds of lettuce ready to go into this three gallon Rubbermaid tote. This is my favorite way to grow lettuces in one of these. You can get four, four kinds of lettuce growing all at one time. And once it starts uh, getting to the harvesting stage, you have lots of lettuce to harvest. Um, almost every day you can be eating fresh salad. So as I said, this was a three gallon or 11.3 liter size Rubbermaid tote. So I am going to fill it up with some water now and mix up the nutrients directly into this container. And I'm going to be using this three part uh, Holland Secret blend for my nutrients. I will get this mixed up and show you how we put this all together. So this is my uh, watering station that I have set up here in my bathroom shower downstairs. So I have some larger jugs that hold probably, you know, 10 or 12 liters of water. I've taken my shower, take shower head off of my hose here and I use it to fill my containers. And then I just let these sit for, you know, 24 hours or more before I use this water. So this is treated city water that I use in my all my hydroponics. I do not worry about checking pH at this time. So far it has worked good for me. I just find that another complicated step that I just didn't want to start doing. So, so far so good. So I'm going to be using my four liter jug here to measure into this tub. I'm hoping that it will hold about eight liters of water. And once I've figured out how much water I have in here, then I can figure out how many, how much nutrients I need to put in here. So I put in eight liters of water into this container so far, and I'm just going to test out the depth to see if that's enough water. We want to be able to, when we first set this up, to have these net cups just touching the surface of the water so that the roots can start drinking the nutrients and suck that water down. So when I place this in here, I can see that, let's bring the camera over here. So when I test out this net cup, you can see that it, it is just touching the water. So that's perfect. All these lettuces have some roots kind of sprouting out the bottom, so they will be able to touch the water, start drinking down the nutrients and taking off from there. So we use the chart on the back of these uh, nutrient bottles to figure out what our uh, measurements are going to be. And according to what we are working on today, we are doing seedlings and cuttings. So the amount that we put in is based on milliliters per four liters. So we have eight liters in here. So I'm just going to double the measurements that I'm seeing here on the chart. So it seems like a very small amount that you're putting in here. And always make sure you stir in between each to make sure you get it mixed in really good. So this eight liters of water is going to, you know, be almost enough for this lettuce to drink off of throughout its whole life cycle. What I usually do once it starts to, the water level starts to drop and the lettuce starts to really get growing. What I'll do is I'll just mix up a stronger batch of the nutrients 
kind of at the um, late vegetative stage and just top up the water with that just so it's getting some more nutrients. Okay, so we're ready to uh, pot up our lettuces in their net cups and get them into their new home. So the first one I'm going to get ready here is an arugula plant. As you can see, there are some roots sticking out here at the bottom. I'm going to try and place it so that they are kind of working their way through the bottom of the net cup. So these hydrogen clay balls, you know, you can get a very large bag of these for, I think, about 20 bucks. Um, you can reuse them every year. I wash them and, and sterilize them and reuse them all the time. So there you will see I have this one ready. It's got a little bit of root coming out the bottom. And we will put it in to this. We'll just check the water level one more time before when we're done here. This one here is called the butter crunch lettuce and it's kind of not looking very healthy. <laughs> the leaves are looking like they're kind of dying. But so I'm just hoping that we can bring it back to life once we get it set up in the nutrients. We'll see how it goes. If not, you can always replace it with a new lettuce seedling. This here is a romaine. So you can see it's got a really good chunk of roots coming out it even grabbed onto one of the clay balls romaine is one of my favorite ones to grow using this method it really does well and you can cut and come again the lettuce for weeks and weeks and get lots of lots of good harvests off of it the fourth lettuce going in is called a salad bowl lettuce again it's got a good good batch of roots coming out So we've got the four lettuces all set up now in their container. I'm just going to double check the, the water level to see, make sure we have these, uh, the water high enough so that the roots are reaching. I can just feel that it's just barely, barely on these ones here that don't have the long roots. It's not quite, I think it is touching because everything feels wet on the bottom. So I'm just going to leave it just until I'm sure the roots are getting, uh, getting to the water and sucking up those nutrients, I will keep giving these a little spritz from the top. And uh, just over the next few days, I'm sure we'll notice right away if they are uh, growing and reaching those nutrients. Okay, so I have the lettuces now set up under the grow lights. I've got two LED lights set up here on the shelf. These are the Fiat LED lights that I purchased, I believe, at Lowe's. I've got the link to them below um, where you can find them on Amazon. They cost me about 30 bucks each. So I'm not very confident that my uh, one butter crunch there is going to make it, but I will replace it if not, but we'll give it a try. We'll give it a chance here over the next few days to see if it uh, bounces back. So I will update you in a few days and show you how the roots are doing. Okay, so it has been five days since we planted up the lettuces and you can already see a big difference in the size of these plants and especially in their roots. So this is the salad bowl. You can see here that the roots are really taken off. They've been drinking up nutrients and the leaves are really coming out now. I switched out the butter crunch that wasn't doing so good for a spinach plant and it is doing good. It's 
spinach is a little slower to germinate and get going. But this one looks like it's taken off now. The romaine, crazy amount of roots already. And lots of leaves coming, so should be eating salad here in, in a couple weeks. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video on how to grow lettuce indoors using the crack key hydroponic method. This is truly the easy, one of the easiest uh, vegetables to grow indoors using this method. So I hope you will give it a try. And I hope you will keep watching for more videos on my indoor growing series. I have some more lettuces just germinating under the grow lights and I will be setting up another tub here with some more lettuces in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.